hello everyone welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a simple crowd application using uh, spring boot by just using chat gpt so for that let me just quickly go to the chat gpt here so search for chat gpt and let me just uh, search something like write a code for uh, spring boot crowd application for student management system using spring boot and in memory database and just click enter so this is showing some steps here and here you can see so this has already started writing the code uh, for this model class student and this is the class per repository so this is in fact a interface and so this has written the code for student service class and also so it has written the code for student controller so here you can see all the routing for get mapping, get mapping by ID, uh, post mapping for posting the data and put mapping, delete mapping. So also let me ask uh, for chat GPT to write the code for application dot properties file. Uh, so this is for configuration. So this is uh, writing the code for application dot properties here. And similarly, so we just need to write the code for, so just write the code for exception. So since uh, you can see here, so there's some exception uh, right here. So this is the resource not found exception. So we just have to write the code for that. So just write the code for exception class uh, resource not found exception. And just click enter so this should now write the code for a uh, resource not found exception as well so once this is done so now we are uh, ready to create the spring boot application so the first thing we just have to go into the spring initializer so just go into this spring initializer and just click into this first link from spring dot start dot spring dot io and i will choose the maven project java and let me just keep the name something like code with Arjun and just give the artifact ID. So just give something like student management uh, system. And so Java version, which I have. So let me just quickly check Java hyphen version. So I've got this 17. So just choose accordingly. So I will choose the 17 Java version and in dependency. So we just have to add Spring Wave for the uh, RESTful API and uh, now we have to add the JPA and since we're using the in-memory database so just add the S2 database as well and for validation so just uh, source for this hibernate validator so this should be fine I guess so these are the four dependencies which we need so if we need more so we will add later on so just click and generate so this should generate the project and let me just generate inside the desktop so this has created this zip file so let me just show in finder and if i just double click onto this gif so this should extract it here so once this is extracted so we just need to use the id so it is extracted here so we just need to uh, use the id so if you are comfortable with eclipse or spring tool suit you can go with that but for now i would be using the intel IZ. So you can just simply download this IntelliJ Community Edition. So let me just click on open and go inside desktop and open this student management system. So this is syncing the project. So once this is done, so if you are doing it for the first time, you might take some more time. Uh, so just go in, into this source main Java. So inside here, so you can see this is the class from where we will be running our application. So before running up application, so we just need to uh, add into this resource resources in application properties, and we just need to create the uh, classes. So first of all, let me just create the class. Just right click, click new and Java class. So just create the model class, which is a student. So let me just clear this student class and keep the package as it is. And let me just go into this. Uh, Chat GPT here. So uh, since we have already created the code, so you just need to 
uh, copy this code from this student and just paste it inside here and the second thing is we just need to import all the classes as well so just uh, hover into this and or you can just simply use the shortcut key which is given here so i will use the uh, shortcut key and just import this id and generated value generation type and so this should be fine now so once you do that so we just need to create the constructor getter and setter so you can just right click and click on this generate or you can just simply uh, type the control and n or command and n in case of mac and just click on constructor so let me just select all and similarly so let me just create the default constructor as well so just uh, press on select none and similarly just do the same thing so all right so just uh, go into this getter and setter and generate all the getter and setter here as well so once you do that so the next thing is we just need to create the so let me just see into this chat gpt so the next thing is we just need to create this our student repository class so let me just uh, create the student repository class so right click here in this package new uh, java class so we just need to choose this interface and the name is student repository and just click enter. So the student repository has been created. So let me just clear this one and copy this code from here. So just copy this code and paste it inside here. And the second thing is you just need to import. So just hover into this or just press the shortcut key option and enter in case of Mac or if you're using the uh, Windows or Linux, so just go accordingly. Once this uh, student repository interface is created, so we just need to create the student service class. So just type student service and just click enter. So let me again clear this student service from here and copy the code from here and paste it inside here. And the second thing is we just need to just hover into this, import the class, import this auto wired, for dependency injection, import this list of a student. So this is Java util that list. And also, so we just need to uh, create this resource not found exception. So here, so if you just, if you just over into this, so this will automatically suggest you to create the class resource not found, just click enter. So here you can see the resource not found class has been created. So let me just uh, clear this whole code and since we have uh, asked the chat GPT to write the code for uh, is resource not found exception as well so just copy the code from here and if I just paste it inside here so now the student service uh, this uh, this error also has been resolved successfully so once you do that so we just need to uh, create the class student controller so just create the class student controller here so just go inside this package new and java class and just type student controller and just clear this one and we just need to copy the whole code so let's let me just copy from here and similarly now we just have to uh, import the classes so just import this request mapping auto wired get mapping and a list so this is a list and path variable and post mapping as well so i guess uh, everything should work now and also response entity this should be fine here so now let me just go into this application dot properties and we just need to copy this uh, configuration which we have created in chat gpt so just copy this and let me just paste it inside here so you can see the database url username passport and the uh, configuration everything looks fine so now just go into this student management system if everything goes right so this should work fine so just right click and run so if there's any error so we will fix so i guess this is working fine so you can see that uh, Tomcat started in the port 8080. I guess this should be fine. So let me just go into the browser and if I just type localhost 8080 slash and just type s2 hyphen console and just click enter. Uh, there is some error, I guess. Localhost 8080 s2 hyphen console. So let me just go into the application dot properties. Uh, I guess we have to add the S2 console inside this uh, application dot properties. So for that, again, let me ask with the chat GPT. 
okay uh, write the uh, configuration uh, for uh, s2 console in application application dot properties and just click enter so i guess uh, this should add here mm, s2 database sql auto complete and i guess uh, we have to add these two lines so just copy this s2 console configuration okay uh, let me just copy this and let me just add in, in add it inside here and again I read on my application stop and read on so now again just do the same thing localhost slash s2 hyphen console and just click enter so yeah you can see so this is working fine so this is how the chat gpt can help you to you know like fix the error as well so once you do that so if i just click on test uh, connection so the text test is uh, successful and the username is assay and just click and connect so you can see the students table has been created with the uh, parameter or columns id email name and phone uh, which are created from here so you can see in student uh, model class the students the name of the table is students which is created here and uh, uh, you know like attributes are id name email and phone so these are id email name and phone so this is how it works we can just type select star from student and though there's no data so i'm just going to show you how it works so you can see id email name and phone so once we add the data so the data will be uh, you know like uh, added into this student table so uh, once you do that uh, let me just uh, go here i think everything looks fine and just go into this student controller so now we will be checking the is endpoint so for checking is endpoint so we just have to use uh, one of the api testing tools so i will be using the postman so if you are comfortable with you know other api testing tools so you can just go with that as well and let me just uh, go into this postman and go into this collection and let me just click on plus sign here and let me just uh, name it something like spring boot crawl you can just give any name and in just click here and click on add request so here so the first thing is we just have to post the data so we just have to add the data for adding the data so we just have to use the local host 8080 slash and we just have to uh, use this endpoint slash api slash student so slash api slash students and we just have to go into this body so in the post mapping so let me just see if there's any so there's nothing so we just have to use the student and body just go into this raw and json so just write something like so id is auto generated i guess so like you know let me just see uh id it generated value so we just have to uh, you know write name email and phone so just write name so let me just give something like code with version and just give the email hello airthereadgmail.com and phone number so just give the phone number uh, 98777 you can just give an in phone number and if i just click on this send so you just have to use this post as http and click on send so if everything goes right so this should work so you can see so this is working fine and the id is auto generated which is one so let me just change this name into something like uh you can just give any name and hello one two three and seven seven uh, let me just give eight and just click enter so you can see uh, the another data is also added and to check in the database so you can just go into the uh, browser here and inside here so just type this command select the start from a student and if you just execute so you can see these two data are successfully added in the table as well so the post is working fine so now we just have to test other endpoint which is get mapping so this is for getting all the list of students so just simply just change this into the gate and if there is no yeah so there's no any uh, other endpoint so just click on send and you will be able to see all the list of student here so you can see one and two which are coming from the database directly and similarly so there's another endpoint for getting uh, using id so you can just 
uh, use this gate slash uh, let me just get the data by one so just click send so you can see so this is showing the data with the input one and let me just show the data of id2 so just click here so you can see this is the data with the id2 and similarly so we can just uh, use the put mapping as well so this is for editing so you can just uh, choose this put and so i want to uh, you know like uh, edit the data of id2 so you can just give the something like okay let me just change his phone number so this looks weird phone number so let me just write something like six five 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 whatever so you can just change it and also let me just change this one two three uh, email into four five six and let me just write the name uh, into okay Debbie or uh, whatever you want to send so just click send uh, and I guess this should work fine and now so let me just uh, so this is showing properly here but you know like if you just want to check by using the gate and just click on send so you can see so this is working fine here and also so this should you know like uh, change into the database as well so again execute this one so you can see so the phone number is changed and the email is also changed so this is working fine so similarly so we just need to test for delete mapping as well so for delete mapping so you can just simply go into the delete and you just need to you know like write the id so i just want to delete the data of uh, id2 so let me just click on send and this you know like it's showing uh, 200 okay so, but there's no any response so if you want you can add the response as well so for now uh, so the data should be deleted so if i just go into the database and again execute the command so you can see the data with id one is only showing so it means it is working fine so this is the overall crawler application uh, and like you know create read delete and edit so this is how it works thank you so much for watching so if you want to you know like get more videos like this you just need to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one